Hey guys, I'm Eric with Extreme Terrain. Today we're taking a quick look at the JL Audio Stealth Box with the 4 ohm driver designed to be mounted on the driver's side for all 2018 and later JL Wrangler Unlimiteds. Now you should be checking this out if you want a top of the line upgrade to your Jeep sound system with a serious kick in the bass. Now with the Stealth Box for Jeep Wranglers, JL Audio really came up with an interesting design that preserves your much needed cargo space while still delivering the high end sound quality that you expect from JL Audio. Also available from Extreme Terrain is the mirror image, which is the passenger side mount for the Stealth Box as well. Now in this design, JL Audio combined their advanced thin-line subwoofer technology with a form-fitting enclosure delivering outstanding sub-bass performance in your four-door Wrangler. Now that's without consuming any excess cargo space. Proudly made here in the United States, each Stealth Box is constructed from 100% fiberglass and houses a 10 TW1 thin-line subwoofer that mounts solidly above each rear wheel well. A matching trim panel and sturdy steel mesh grille are also included so you can carry around plenty of gear without worrying about any damage. Now, like I mentioned before, separate driver and passenger side stealth box models are available. Now, a couple things worth pointing out is that if your Jeep is factory equipped with premium audio, installing a passenger side stealth box requires removal of the OEM subwoofer and you'll also need to pick up additional trim parts from Jeep. Now, this is not an issue if you're simply purchasing the model we have here today, which mounts on the driver's side. Now, another question that comes up quite frequently is, will this interfere with the operation of my Jeep's soft top? Now, it does not, except for the final removal position where the top mechanism is detached from the rails. Now, as far as price goes, the JL Audio Stealth Box comes in under $950. Now, that definitely puts it in the premium category compared to other options out there, but JL Audio is not only well known for its sound quality, but once you get this unit installed in your Jeep, it integrates into the interior so well that it looks like it came from the factory that way. Now for the installation, I'm giving it a solid two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. With some electrical work that comes with this kind of job, give yourself about three hours to get it done from start to finish. Now with that said, let's take a look at this clip from an Extreme Terrain customer who's going to show us how to mount up your new Stealth Box. For today's install, we're gonna use a drill, a Phillips head screwdriver bit, a one half box wrench, a socket wrench, a hex bit, a 13 millimeter socket, a step drill bit, a straight knife, a Sharpie, and if you choose, a touch up paint pen. Hi, my name is Lamar Lampkin. Today I'm gonna do an install on the JL Audio Stealth Box for Jeep Wrangler GLU. The first part of the install requires you to remove your factory liners. As you can see, I have aftermarket liners. However, be advised, JL Audio provides you with aftermarket fasteners to replace the ones you cut off from your factory liner. The next part of this install requires you to fold down your seat and flatten the fastener right here that lets you put your carpet down. And now you have access to your wheel wheel. To mount your stealth box to the wheel well, you're gonna use this mounting bracket. Make sure the two points on the bracket are facing to the rear of the vehicle. You're gonna place it on the wheel wheel, line up with this back line, get yourself a Sharpie, mark the very top hole with a Sharpie and the bottom two so you can drill your holes. The next step we're gonna do is drill three holes. Get yourself a drill and a step bit. What I like to do is get a Sharpie and mark it off. We're gonna be drilling the three eighths. Here's the tip that's not in the directions. Get some touch-up paint. Because you drilled in the metal, you want to avoid rust. Get the touch-up paint. Fill the holes with the metal. You want to cover any bare spots that are showing from when you cut in.
Give that some time to dry before you put in your screws. Next, I like to get my hardware organized. We're gonna be using various washers and bolts for this next step. Get your mounting bracket. This is the top. You're gonna to take the square neck carrier bolt, stick it to the top. Next, you're gonna get a retaining washer, which is just plastic. Slide that down. There's another square peg on the top as well. You want to repeat that process. All right, next you're going to grab one of the hex bolts, the small washer, stick it through the top hole of the mount, grab the spacer, put it underneath the mount, then place that over the hole. Next, we're going to grab the next two hex bolts, another washer, the two bottom holes that you drilled, you're going to slide that through. And then we'll move out to the outside. For this next step, we're gonna use this oversized lard washer first, a locking washer, and then a nut. We're gonna tighten up the bolt that's at the very top first, just hand tight, and then move on to the bottom two. Once you finish hand tight in the bottom two, grab yourself a box wrench and a socket. You're gonna start with the top. Tighten that one up first, and move on to the bottom two. All right, at this point, you wanna grab your speaker wire and run that because at this point you're gonna be replacing your carpet back. Get a straight knife, place your carpet back over, back into place, find the two bolts at the top, cut an X right over top of them so you can slide it back on. All right, we're getting close to the end now. Next step we're gonna do is remove these four screws so we can mount the speaker. Next, we're gonna get your drill with the Phillips head screwdriver bit. We're gonna use it to remove the eight screws from the speaker so we can remove it from the enclosure. All right, this next step is important. Once you seat the enclosure on top of the two hex bolts inside, you're gonna take the flat washer, the oversized flat washer, place that on along with a nut, and then fully seat that down with your socket wrench. Once you do that, it's gonna allow this to seat properly so you can fit the other side on as well. Once you tighten both sides down completely, you're gonna remove only one side at a time. Put this rubber washer on underneath, replace it with the oversized washer. Then you're gonna take the locking washer and the nut and finish it off and then repeat it for both sides. And then once this is fully seated, you're good to go, but you're gonna take off the first one you started with, leaving the back one still on. Then you put the rubber washer on.
the oversized flat washer, the locking washer, and the nut, and tighten it down. Once you have this tightened down, repeat the process for the other one. Now that you have your enclosure secure, put your polyfill back in. Take your speaker, reconnect it. And then screw in your eight screws. Now before you put on your cover, make sure you connect your speaker wires. Make sure to not to over tighten these screws because you will crack the plastic. And that right there completes the install of the JL Audio Stealth Box. Okay, so that wraps up this review and installation of the JL Audio Stealth Box with driver's side mount for all 2018 and later Jeep Wrangler JL Unlimiteds. And of course, for all things Wrangler, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.